Well, hello. Hey, here's a big question. Uh, will Harry and Meghan stay together? Look, the whole melodrama of Harry and Meghan with their memoir, with their uh, tremendous documentary <laughs> that caused so much fuss, the rancor between Harry and Meghan and the palace and the royal family, the documentaries, the memoirs, the, the lawsuits, the invitation to the coronation, all this kind of stuff. It just goes on and on. They're never away from us. Uh, and one has to wonder whether or not their marriage can withstand all of this craziness. Uh, so I think it's worth uh, addressing the question. So let's look at what some of the arguments. First of all, those who say, uh, yes, yes, indeed, their marriage can last. Uh, they're in love. I mean, there's a reasonable amount of evidence for that. Who are we to say if they are or are not in love? But but my guess is they probably are. They're, they're at least in lust, which is <laughs> better than nothing. Um, uh, number two, they have children. Now, uh, one might uh, question how devoted they are or are not to those two children, but children always tend to keep people together even if they're disinclined to stay together just because of all of the difficulty and logistics and so forth of uh, not having their, their children around. Uh, number three, they must deem themselves as a team to be very successful. They've made a lot of money with their various uh, social media arrangements, so that's pretty impressive. They see themselves as winners. Uh, Harry uh, likes California. He likes the beaches. He likes running on the beaches. Harry's a physical kind of guy. And being both fairly ideologically oriented, uh, they're going to have to find a cause to kind of cauterize this whole uh, shame that they've been through. And, and uh, what better way than to do that together? Uh, they are both uh, kind of uh, caught up in their various uh, uh, causes and ideologies and so forth. And so... Uh, that's a that's another uh, challenge for them to to meet together. So all in all, uh, they'll probably stay together. They have a lot of reasons to do so. Well, what about those who say no? They're not going to stay together. Uh, and there are quite a few reasons to, to to think that. I think. First of all, the value of all this private information. This. Uh, uh, information about the royal family and the things that they believe they're trying to hide and so forth, all of that's starting to fade into kind of irrelevance and, and uh, even annoying the public. Uh, uh, they're running out of that and they don't really have anything else to offer. So as soon as that's over, uh, <laughs> uh, they're going to be done. So they'll have nothing else to do. Uh, so they might as well, I suppose, go their separate ways. Uh, uh, number two, uh, Megan must be quite frustrated at not having become an A-list star. She was an actress, but always kind of B or C-list, and she's never made it to the top, and she might well blame Harry for that. Uh, Megan, of course, also could meet someone uh, who could uh, provide her more show business access or more money. Uh, they do seem to be suggesting that the money could be uh, running out here. Um, Harry could meet someone. Harry may be fed up with the idea of being seen as kind of her creature. Uh, and uh, Harry may want to leave her, maybe go to Africa and, uh, and be a kind of wild animal guide. He certainly indicated some... Uh, ideas about doing that before. He has different values, he di different ideas uh, from Megan. Uh, th there's a tense relationship there, and, and you can see that it really doesn't have a lot of, a lot of legs. Uh, furthermore, uh, Megan has achieved her objective to be, presumably, to be rich and famous. So she's there. She succeeded. What does she need Harry for? <laughs> well, what's my take on all this? Well, I have to say that the basic problem that they have is that their whole arrangement together is based on a kind of whining, negative, uh, betraying sort of life. It, it's a nasty business. 
it isn't one that has a real uh, nobility about it or, or a quality of life about it. And uh, she's transparently uh, uh, narcissistic. She's self-absorbed. He's both damaged and thick. And with that kind of a combination, disaster just can't be far away. So I'm afraid I take the view that it's only got a couple of more years to run. Sorry, Megan and Harry, but, but uh, that's the reality. Hey, I hope you'll uh, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.